Greetings! Today I have another hair dyeing video for you but I thought I'd make it more of like a casual type video so clearly my background's not the same. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'm using Lime Crime Unicorn Hair again but I'm going to be using the shade Gargoyle which is the grey colour. Um, I'm a little bit scared because I don't want it to turn my hair green. I did a test patch somewhere in here. I don't know. I think it's faded out. Um, it seemed okay. It was grey. But it, you could tell it had sort of like a green base to it. So I hope when it fades out it doesn't turn my whole hair green. If not, we'll, we'll deal with it. Shit happens. It's just hair dye. Ow. Um, so... That's what we're going to do today. I have some pink in my hair on this side because I was testing out strawberry jam which is the other unicorn hair that I'd have which is the other unicorn hair dye that I have but I think it's a little too bright for me to get away with at work so I might save that for next time because this lime crime hair dye is so new and there's not that many videos and I've seen a lot of people dyeing their hair not a lot but the people that I have seen dyeing their hair with gargoyle, gargoyle, it doesn't turn out too well. But then again, that was the same with sext and it turned out perfectly for me. So I guess we'll see. So I've washed my hair. I used the Fudge Detox Shampoo. It's just this one in the white bottle. I'm pretty sure it's just a clarifying shampoo. Um, I haven't conditioned. And surprisingly, my hair doesn't feel that bad. So, we're gonna... I'm gonna set this up in my bathroom. And we're going to dye some hair. Yay! Hopefully it turns out alright. If not, we're fucked. So, I've got a different paintbrush than I normally use. This one's a bit bigger and not as good. Ooh. We're a bit wonky. Oh well. Um, I have my gloves. I have my mixing bowl. And I have two jars of hair dye. Because I do have pretty thick hair. So I don't want to run out. And have it to be all weird and patchy. I don't get what people are talking about. How it smells nice. I don't find that it smells that nice. But I guess to each their own. I'm just brushing my hair. Getting out all the knots. Considering I haven't conditioned it, it doesn't feel that bad. I mean, obviously it feels bad because I've bleached the shit out of it. But it doesn't feel that bad. So I like to separate my hair into four sections. I just find it so much easier to do and that way I'm less likely to miss anything. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna put in too much footage of me actually dyeing my hair because it's pretty basic and you watched my other hair dye video if you saw it. And obviously I'm not a professional. I have done all of my hair myself, which is why it looks a bit patchy. Um, but I don't really give a shit. I hate going to the hairdresser. So I figured I'd do it myself. Who the fuck cares? So that's done. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very blue in the jar. I'll put some gloves on. It's probably a good idea. Then I'll get started. Yes! Fingers crossed this works out well. I'm just gonna pour it in. Pour a heap in. I should probably like shake it or something, shouldn't I? Good idea. Alright, here we go. Here we go. It's really quite thick. Here we go. We'll do that for now. And 
I'm not going to put any on my roots because as you can tell they're quite dark and I don't see the point in wasting hair dye when it's not going to take, you know? And I just like to work in sections and I usually start near the roots and I take it down and I kind of mush it in, but just see. Here we go! brush is too big to fit into the jar. Where's my other one? And my hand's too big as well. I found it! Yay! Go me! Now we can scrape it out. That's better. Alright. So I'm going to leave this on my head for about an hour. And I'm going to clean up the mess I made because I'm covered in grey hair dye now and so is my bathroom. That is why I dye my hair in my bathroom and not in my bedroom because I'm not stupid. I know I'm messy. I've just had a shower and I've rinsed it out. I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, so shall we do a bit of a reveal? Um... It looks quite blue on camera. I don't know if that's just my viewfinder or what. It looks quite green up here. Um, overall, it's quite dark. It looks very blue, doesn't it? And green up here. So I'm going to let this air dry because I hate blow drying my hair. Um... And I will probably come back tomorrow or maybe tonight if it's done. And we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I fuck, totally fucked up my hair. Um, if you want any information on price or where I got the hair dye from, I'll write it all down below. And also, it's all in my other hair dye video, which I will leave at the end of this video. So, yes, I will check in once my hair is dry. Very blue. Very, very blue. Very blue. Oh my god. Very blue. Very blue, very blue, very blue. Ooh. This is what my hair looks like dried down. Um, it's very blue. I think on camera it looks extremely blue. Some lights it looks grey. Um, but it's mostly blue, sometimes green. So it was really yellow up at my roots. So, um, that looks very green. And I have a feeling this is going to fade very badly. Um, and it's going to look like seaweed green, which I'm not looking forward to. But, um, that pink that I had in my hair, I dyed over, I just put, like, the grey dye over it. And it actually looks so good. I'm kind of tempted to put, where is it? Here. You can see that. I'm kind of tempted to put the pink dye over the top to see what happens. This is natural light, by the way. I'll do it. It's um, patchy again in some spots, just like the last time. So yes, um, I don't actually know if I like it or not. Um, I don't know. It didn't turn out the shade of grey that I thought it would. 
even though I knew it was very blue in the bottle. I don't know. Um, I do know that that's my heating. If that's loud noise, you can hear. Um, I do know that they've reformulated it to be more of a red-based grey. So I don't really know what a red-based grey looks like, but it's not bluey, creamy, I guess. I don't know. I think I'm going to stick to pinks and purples from now on and silver. <laughs> but, you know, it's always good to try something out of the box. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.